welcome everybody to Shitcoin Solutions. I believe we're on episode number nine, and today we have Marcus with us from HDD Coin, or otherwise known as Blotzilla. Um, Howdy. I'm here with uh, with Lee, and my trusted partner, and um, give us a little introduction. Uh, Hi there. <laughs> my name is uh, Marcus. I'm the uh, or. On Discord and other places, I'm known as Plotzilla. Uh, I am the marketing manager for the HDD Coin project, um, and uh, yeah, that, that's me in a nutshell. I, I run the marketing campaigns and and try and uh, spread the word about HDD Coin and help help the the project move in the right direction and things like that. Hey, okay. uh, great. Um, so, Marcus. Uh... You know, we, we were talking a little bit before we started recording, and um, I'm very curious. Uh, what got you into crypto? How long have you been in, into crypto, and, and, and what got you into crypto? Tell us your story. Um, okay, well, uh, <laughs> I, I suppose to keep it somewhat short, I've been uh, into crypto since Bitcoin was sub $20. I mean, I uh, was doing Litecoin mining, um, some Bitcoin mining, and all of that way back when... Um, let's see, it would have been when uh, the, the time when it was like the, we mine uh, and we mine BTC, those guys were around before they did their exit scam. So this is, I'm this maybe roughly 2012. I've been mining since then. Um, and I have, I think probably the world's most expensive, uh, graphics card because I bought, in 2012, 2013, maybe a little bit earlier than that, dates are a bit fuzzy, is what, nearly 10 years ago, I paid 40 Bitcoin oh, for a HD7990. Hold on. A yep. HD7990? Yeah, it's a, it's, uh, a that, I card? guess, yeah, it's an AMD HD7990. It's the dual, dual GPU 7950, I think. It's the one that they basically slammed two graphics cards together to make the, the 7990. So it was an extremely powerful card at the time, extremely sought after. And I met a guy who was willing to do an exchange for Bitcoin on it. And so I paid 40 Bitcoin at the time, which roughly... million now? Yeah. So I don't know exactly what the figure would be today. I don't want to look. I'm scared. <laughs> but I do know that I have the world's most expensive HD 7990 and possibly one of the most expensive graphics cards in the world because wow. I paid a lot of money for that at the time. Okay. Um, so um, I am looking on eBay right now and I shared the screen over here. Just because I wanted you to see how much. Hey, that's you know, it says. For. Sorry, it says there launched on April twenty fourth, two thousand thirteen. So this must have actually been a little bit after two. Th it wouldn't have been two thousand eleven, two thousand twelve, as I said earlier. It would have been two thousand thirteen, two thousand fourteen. I guess so a little bit later than I had uh, how I said, but still, I paid a shit ton of money for it at the time, an wow. absolute fuckload. Um, and yeah, I mean those. The, the ones that you showed just now, I, they're, they're similar enough. And, and I know it is, it's not worth anywhere near 40 Bitcoin anymore. Um, <laughs> and actually, about six months ago, I was like, you know what? Let's plug this back in and then like use something like a nice hash maybe and just see if there's possible to get something out of it now, you know? Um, and I plugged it into my computer and it actually uh, shorted the whole computer. Motherboard completely dead. Power supply is gone. The only thing salvageable was the RAM and the SSD. So it's the gift that keeps on giving, really. Uh, I was going to ask you if you still had it. So I, I, guess. I, I, I did. And then I took it apart uh, to try and, and fix it at some point um, because it has a triple like fan on it. And one of the uh, riser cables the old school riser ones that had like the Molex or whatever attached to it. Something happened where it basically got caught in the fans, snapped the fan blades off. So I had two out of three of the fans. I took it off and was like, you know what? Easiest way to fix this, liquid metal. Uh, and then it shorted the, it shorted everything. I did it wrong. Wow. So it's my own stupidity. The, the whole story basically from beginning to end is my own stupidity. But uh, to go back to your initial question, 
I've been I've been doing I've been involved with uh, crypto for a very long time, and I've had my ups and I've had my downs. Um, but yeah, I've, yeah, what can you say? Right, right. It's, uh, if anyone's looking to buy an HD seven nine nine zero, by the way, uh, no <laughs> warranty. Let me know. No it's warranty. available. I can't promise it'll work in your computer, but if you want a piece of history, I am right. available. Just DM me. <laughs> I'll take 35 Bitcoin. 35? Oh, you're saying... You're, I, I, look, I'm taking yeah, a hit on it, guys. I'm taking a hit. Appreciation? Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. Wow. Mm. So, so at the time, that was what? eight? You said it was around 20 bucks. So you paid him roughly $800 worth of Bitcoin at the time? Um, I, I don't know the exact value at the time. I mean, I've been buying i was buying and selling bitcoin because i was doing a lot of mining as well back in the day and so i would i would have bitcoin you know coming in and out and litecoin as well and th this is back when it wasn't really worth much to hold on right. to or anything right. i mean had you known it would go on to sixty thousand dollars or whatever it is sure. i probably would have held on to a lot more than i have um right. And so, yeah, at some point that guy had it and he was willing to accept Bitcoin for it. And so I paid him roughly 40 Bitcoins for it. I don't know, remember what the exact value was of the coins or anything? Because, you know, I mean, this is back like, I think Mt. Gox was still around then before they did their fucking exit scam thing where the guy ran off, you know? Um, and I'm not, I don't know if you guys know Mt. Gox, but they were mm -hmm. wow. kind of the first exchange that... Um, collapsed for i suppose uh, for lack of a better word they kind of collapsed and uh funds got tied up and bitcoin and stuff and then bitcoin hit like a high of 150 or 200 dollars, and people were like holy shit all my money's caught there so this is a long time ago now i mean i'm a bit kind of the details uh are a bit sketchy in terms of like what i can remember because it's been so long but yeah it was all around that era so i've been doing it for a long time more or less and i um I took, a, I took a long break uh, from crypto. In fact, I got completely out of it. I wasn't interested anymore um, until I ran into uh, kind of like a Facebook marketplace advertisement where a guy was selling it was something like 100 computers and he wanted 200 euros or about, say, $300 plus or minus for the whole lot. And so I had a quick look at the the. The, the single picture that he had on his Facebook marketplace ad. And it was a picture of like a bunch of HP computers stacked up in a container. And I thought, oh, I don't know about that. That seems a bit dodgy. But I called the guy anyway. And I said, look, uh, can you tell me anything about these? And he was like, having a fucking clue. Don't know shit. I, I am a scrap metal trader. Someone gave me these and I want them to fuck off my, my property. You know, it's I'm keeping them in my my storage container or whatever because I apparently you can't get them wet. Um, come take them off me. And so I was like, okay, it's an hour and a half, but I'm willing to go down there and 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 take a punt on this. So I drove down there, um, and I met up with him. And you know, I had a quick look at the computers, and I thought to myself, you know. They can't be that bad. Obviously, there was no way to test them. Hadn't a clue what they were. Just a bunch of HP compacts. Did a quick Google search. Opened a couple of them up. And I was like, okay, well, they all have hard drives in them. So at the very least, I can maybe flip the hard drives, you know? And then, uh, so it took me two trips back and forth to take all these computers in my car. Um, and I got home and I quickly realized that they were like core two duos and they were old, and the, the graphics cards that were in them were like, oh, God, i got a whole box of them here somewhere on the side. But they were like the, the NVIDIA Quattro cards, but the really old ones, like the, oh, I want to say it's like a K300 or something graphics card. I, I'd have to dig them out. And so I, I was like, okay, well, these are actually worthless, you know? But they all had uh, Western Digital 500 gig hard drives because they were plucked from a school. Okay. Uh, they were kind of like, recycled computers from a school basically and then so i googled um well i tried to sell the computers first and foremost didn't get anything for them nobody wanted them obviously they're shit uh okay i'll mine off the graphics cards nope they're too old to be useful i'm like okay well surely i can sell the hard drives try selling the hard drives no dice and then i was like okay 
surely there's like a mining, like a hard drive mining or something. So I Google hard drive miner and there, Chia had come about, but it wasn't on mainnet yet. It was like, um, it was, it, it was just starting to come about and like you're seeing some like Reddit posts and stuff about it, I think. And, and I was like, you know, that could be interesting. And well, then there was also like, like, uh, March or April of this year, then I guess. Or? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then there was also like the, there's another one like store or something where you like yep. store stuff for people. Yep. Um, <clears throat> store with a J, I think it is. I'm not, I can't remember. Oh, store exactly. J. Yeah. 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 It's the one where storage. you like basically you store for other people and you get paid for it. And there was that going on and stuff. And then I thought, ah, you know, this Chia thing looks interesting. And I had heard of, um, the guys behind Chia because they they were related to like the 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 bit, bit to, yeah BitTorrent and stuff and I thought oh this looks interesting you know how like maybe why not and so I, I was checking back in every now and then on the on on Chia and I was like ah you know what, let's give it a go and so I, I that basically that's what's uh that's that's how I've come to be back into the crypto game, I guess, really, is is just because um, I picked up all these hard drives. Uh, 500 gig hard drives, about 100 of them. Yep. I mean, what's that? Five terabytes, maybe? Yeah, I mean, that's... And now, and now I'm well over 250 terabytes. So, I mean, it's it went in the opposite direction, I suppose, of what my, my girlfriend was expecting, maybe. Like, especially when you buy 100 computers and you tell her, ah, you know, I don't have space for any more computers. And then all of a sudden you've got all these hard drives instead but yeah you know so that's how i've ended up into the the crypto um hard drive mining the and all that now so yeah i don't know i mean you know what where this question began i'm sorry i've just kind of gone off no. on a tangent but no it's okay oh, i was gonna say story. <laughs> rick i think the first thing you taught i mean that i remember was BitTorrent was the first thing you mentioned to me and somehow that led us into chia because we were talking about oh we you can get paid to use the storage on your computer. And I'm like, oh, well, that sounds easy enough. Mm. And then I don't remember how I don't remember how we found Chia. I mean, I'm sure it was through that somewhere. Yeah, you know, we were just kind of researching the BitTorrent stuff, and and then how that came about. I remember getting excited about one one computer that we, we've we've named a lot of our our, our rigs. Uh, our very first one, we named it Cool Runnings. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Jamaican bobsled movie, Cool Runnings. Hell yeah. Um, and man, I thought we were just building this, you know, monster plotter. Like it was going to be. Uh, it's cool runnings right there. Yeah. All it was right. Gonna be, it was going to be better than your average. It wasn't your average jump into. Uh, I thought we were doing pretty good. And come to find out, it's it's a mid level plotter at best, especially these mm -hmm. days. <laughs> um, and, then, and then it was like oh, 5800x or something like that in it or 3900 uh, 30, 30, 30, 30, 3950x 3950x that's what it is yeah yeah uh, and uh yeah then we were off to the races then this of course is when hard drives were outrageous uh like 600 bucks for an 18 terabyte i think uh mm -hmm. so yeah we, we got in on the expensive side and realized oh man what did it start i think it started out reasonable I think now when you do one plot, it's over 40 years or something or 50 years. But back then it was like two years with one plot. And then we, we got it down under a month, still never won on solo. And then Space Bowl came out. So we, we were actually in the launch of Space Bowl. Yep. Uh, yeah, we, we, were were the, like we were in the first day. day. Yeah. yeah, the first day we've been for in a couple Space of hours. Yep. And then uh, we had switched. We were in Corporal. Was it Corporal with our... Original we doing core OG, pool our, our, and our OG plus something our OG else too. Foxy pool. We were doing, we were doing core pool. Well, we did core pool and space pool for a while yeah. because we had OG and NFT plots. And then finally we just realized that everybody was probably going to go to NFTs and slowly hmm. started, slowly started switching. That's also when chives came about and that's kind of why we were like, well, do we want to plot a little over here? And so, yeah, then we started finding the forks and that's how we got to HDD coin and everything else. And here we are. Hmm. And how much do you know about HDD coin as a stance? Um, I, Rick, I, I Rick honestly knows. don't know a lot about the project other than uh, uh, they've been listed on uh, XD and yes. um, that. Uh, would you call that a, a successful launch? Um, because I, I know 
the coin went up, the coin went down. That it happens in crypto, and especially on new listings for a new coin on a new exchange. Um, but I don't know what the team uh, themselves uh, surmises out of that. So if you, if you could tell me what you think about that. Um, you know, when it comes to things like this, it can always be better and it can always be worse. Yeah. Now, the, the price action, I suppose, hasn't been exactly as I would have liked or anticipated, actually, um, considering the, the launch of other coins and, and, yeah. and things in, in even before and after. But in my opinion, I think that it's still got a lot of potential. I mean, it has the project has a lot of potential, yeah. and so and I, and I've I've mentioned this actually a couple of times in the the developer section of the Discord, like kind of like the the behind the scenes team and stuff. Is that look, Rome wasn't built in a day, yeah. and although the price action now isn't great, maybe the volume's low, the price is lower than we would like. Whatever it is, hey, you know what? That's just uh, that just gives us the kick in the ass we need to to really uh, develop this and make this something that goes in the direction that we want it to go in. You know, and that's really uh, the the thing for for at least me. And I can't really speak for everyone on on the team because maybe there are some other people who expected more or expected less i'm not sure but at least from my perspective i'm just happy to see that we're listed because now that gives people who have been farming um the opportunity to sell coins uh you know to to, to get back some of their their initial profit from their rigs and things because chia and and forks in general is a very uh it, it's a, it can be a drain financially when it comes to having to buy more hard drives and things. So if there's an outlet to recoup some of that initial upfront investment, you know, so be it. And the price is a bit low at the moment, in my personal opinion. What, what, I think do you know what lot... the price is right now? I'm at the, I was oh, yeah, that. it's like 20 something cents. 20 something cents. Yeah. And personally, I think that's a bit low when you look at other coins and other you know, I think that's low for this in the project. sphere. Um, yeah, I mean, what we have, and, you know. yeah, I mean, I don't want to name competitors, but there were some other competitors that did some exchange uh, listings recently, and there's kind of, the, I suppose, they were more successful at launch, sure. um, but have, have since either failed or collapsed or whatever has happened to them. And so, because I take, and I and I can say this on behalf of the team, we take a long term viewpoint to this project. Um, so honestly, the initial listing, while not as successful as we would like, we still have so much time to really demonstrate that, you know, we can bring value to, to every, to everyone involved with the project. And so sooner or later, I think the price will, will move back up in my opinion. Now I, this is not financial advice, you know, all that. <laughs> I haven't a clue what's going to happen to the price personally, sure, but sure. I'm just happy to see that we're listed. And now we have an opportunity to really demonstrate the value of the ideas and concepts and things behind the, behind the project itself. So are you, are you allowed to discuss what it takes from, from your all's end to get listed? I, I personally, I mean, I've read a little bit. Um, but I think like a lot of people in my chat wouldn't know, what does getting listed entail? I guess, does that give you, you know, a person who has it or interested in buying it? Is there a way to determine any more security by getting listed? What can you tell them about from your end? What, what I guess, I don't know, maybe verifications. It's something about the process of getting a coin token listed on, you know, on an exchange. What does that involve? Yeah, I, it, it really depends on the exchange. Some are more than others. Um, I wasn't personally involved with the the day-to-day -day of the the xt listing however what i can say is that it does involve um listings in general the 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 higher up you go in terms of the exchange and their reputability and all of those things 
the more stringent they are on who they will and won't accept. So they won't accept coins without people behind it, you know, verifiable sure. people behind it, for instance. Yeah. Um, in some cases, you'd As need to... Not. Absolutely. Right, exactly, right, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, you absolutely should not be able to list a coin without KYC verification or whatever it is, you know. Like, I personally, like, because otherwise... You know, you can end up in a in a situation where you have that that uh, coin recently that dumped to zero. I don't know what that was—a Squid Game coin, I think. Squid oh, Game yeah. token, whatever it was. We yeah. got some. We had some. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, uh, I'll probably do a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, we talked about that earlier. I mean, yeah. What? Uh, uh, yeah. You know, brand new coin, a couple hundred bucks. That's what happens. Yeah. Mm. So. Yeah. So, like, for with that, like, now I haven't a clue whether or not that was the, they what. I don't know enough about that to say whether or not that they went to an exchange that where they did KYC. I don't know anything about that, um, obviously. But in general, um, the exchanges, when you're wanting to get listed, you they require an enormous amount of information, to, uh, especially reputable exchanges, okay. to... To make sure that they can protect, you know, the the customers or the the people yeah. using the exchange and stuff, and so and and although I wasn't personally involved with the XT listing on the day to day, I'm sh I, I'd say with a fair degree of confidence that um, there is that sort of verification process to some degree going through. Um, in fact, the application. Um, for for getting listed on XT is is available online on their website. You can see like the preliminary okay. Okay. Uh, application form, you know, okay. on That's on good. there, and and the information that they have just from what I looked through before, it's qu it's quite involving. It's not something that it doesn't take a day, you know. I mean, this was in discussion for weeks and weeks before yeah, it got listed I mean, on XT. When they made so, the announcement, I think it was three, maybe even closer to four weeks before. They yeah. were officially listed, and and I know that they had been in talks for quite a while beforehand to get the approval to say yes. So yeah, and even with that, when you do get that initial approval, there's still so many things behind the scenes that need to to be discussed, you know. And so it takes such a long time, and then you think you're about to get listed, and then they'll say, well, actually, we just need some further information or further clarification on X, Y, and Z. Then you provide that, and they say, okay, maybe next Tuesday we'll have everything up and running by then, you know? And then they're like, okay, well, maybe Thursday because we actually need some more information from you. And it's just one of those things that just takes – it takes a while, but there's a – and, and it's a good thing because they are quite diligent, I suppose. You, I guess I'd pr prefer to <laughs> prefer to have a coin listed on an exchange where it was, it did take, you know, a couple of weeks, maybe a bit more, whatever it is to get listed on the exchange, rather than you fill out a Google Docs form and then 24 hours later, all of a sudden you're on that exchange. Right. You know, where they, where the diligence, the due diligence isn't in, in anywhere near as, um is there just isn't as much you know and so yeah i mean the xt listing though overall i f i personally think it was successful i mean we're listed now we're a listed coin yeah. so definitely it's a step in the right direction yeah when so. was it when was that first when, when did you all first go live with xt what was that date Oh gosh! Um, or about ten days Park. ago, or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Oh, so it's very, so it's very recent. Yeah, very recent. Yeah, it was. The, right. It was November fifth. Okay. If I yeah. might, yeah. what was that? So yeah, a little over a week ago, I guess. Okay. Um, and so yeah, still new, still on there. Um, you know, when you when you've got a coin and it's on a uh, an exchange like that, and and there's not a, a tremendous amount of volume, and someone comes in there and does a market sell. Yeah, um, that's going to take the price because there just isn't enough support there to uh, to hold the price where it should be, and people get scared when they see the price start making dramatic jumps like that, and they just get out of the way. You know, so exactly. And and if you're, for instance, a, a a farmer who has, I don't know, a thousand HDD coin or something, you've yep. been you've been you got a a large farm and you're you know, bringing in the HDD coin when it's 20 cents, for instance, on, or 30 cents, 50 cents, whatever it may have been on XT.com, that's easy money. So obviously there's going to be a lot more sells sure. than buys when you've had 
a few months, several months of people farming the coin, there's going to be more yeah. more sellers than buyers. That's natural. Yeah. And so that's why I suppose my long-term viewpoint was Rome isn't built in a day. So I expect you know that to, to rebound because frankly speaking, what we have on the roadmap and stuff like that, we're bringing a lot of value to the, the, the project. Well, let's talk about that. Um, from yeah. a developmental standpoint, um, what is coming down the pipeline um, that you can that you're at liberty to discuss? Um, the two from major a things, standpoint, you know, yeah, <laughs> the two the two main things that uh, we're focused on at the moment. Our, our top three goals, really, um, on the roadmap, were to get listed, um, and then to bring the store online and then bring the hodl program online, the hold program, the staking program. Yep. So the, we, we've, we've successfully checked off the, the listing on a top 30, which was XT. Now we're all down the road where we're working already on, on getting listed on other exchanges and, and working sure. our way through that. But that's something that's going to take quite a lot more time. Um, the most, the most, exciting thing in my opinion is the the store uh that's the first thing that's probably going to be going live soon uh as part of the roadmap so so and on, the, the, on the store uh, i've seen it on in the discord and some other other places that uh they were mentioning it um for anyone who doesn't know anything about it uh what what is available in the store what, what is it uh doing and i'll, I'll put a um a link is there a link to the store um well the store or? it's not live at the moment um we we were going to have it operational last weekend um and then unfortunately there was some some technical things that we still need to work out some bugs and then so ideally it's going to be up this weekend but i i i don't i'm hesitant to give a specific date and say yes it's going to be you know tonight or this weekend i'm hesitant to give that because when it comes to integrating um, the ability to use crypto and especially HDD coin as a payment option, it's something that there's there's so many challenges involved. And that's the main reason for the store actually is we want to promote the use of HDD coin as a real world um, asset, I suppose, or whatever um so, to, so that would that would basically uh, uh create use case yeah i mean imagine that. like and the idea is what on the store we want to be able to sell uh or we're going to be able to sell rather um aside from merch hats and whatever um is to be able to buy hardware yep. hard drives specifically okay. i mean you can't okay. you can't really be the the hgd coin without selling the the hard drives you know and so that's and it's got, our it's actually got their logo on there too i believe right um like this is um, from, like a, a western digital with the hdd logo is that is that how this is or you guys aren't like actually manufacturing any of this equipment are you or is no, no 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 we're not we're, we're not planning to get into the manufacturing of our own equipment um but the the hard drives themselves now i've seen i personally i haven't gotten a single like hard drive delivered to me or anything because you know the store's not online and whatever um but whether or not the the drives would come shipped with the hd logo that's uh, i don't know yet i mean well, the renders i have tell them to send me they... one and uh we'll we'll do a review on the uh the show here. <laughs> yeah. yeah but i mean the 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 overall plan is to be able to to buy hard drives or buy hardware in general for for mining you know yep. or plotting or farming whatever it is and so the that's the the first and foremost goal that we have at the moment is to drive uh real world use case casage 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 or is it usage <laughs> Usage. Real world usage. There we go. I'm trying to combine. I'm trying to make up a word here. Uh, real okay. world usage. And so that's the name yeah. of this episode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and yeah, that's uh, that. We're still working on that. I mean, it's unfortunately it's easier said than done because when we're we want to make sure that we can accept HDD coin. That has that's a given, you know. Yeah. Um, and that's what the the short-term focus is um is getting that store online it should be operational soon tm um now 
that's something that we've been working on for a while. And then the other thing is the HODL program or the HODL yes. program, the HOLD program, HODLer program, however it's, uh, however people want to say, I've heard so many, so many different variations of it now, but, um, that's uh yeah that's the other thing we're working on are you familiar at all with that or um, i've seen the staking um options um I, I don't know what the the apr is or any of that stuff or, or any of the terms uh or conditions for for hodling uh hdd um i've just not done enough of that yet myself personally anyways um mm. but uh staking something that i'm farming anyways it's definitely something that, that I'm interested in. So talk to me about that one a little bit. Yeah, I mean, basically we, um, as far as I know now, I'm not, the, I'm not on the technical side of things. I'm not on even the development team. Um, so the, basically, as far as I understand it, it's going to be done through a smart contract where you can lock your coins in for a specific period and then you get some return on that depending. Now our website actually has the different levels of staking. Uh, there's gonna be like an early bird program where you, you know, if you're one of the, the early birds onto the, the HODL program or the hold program, then you will, will get a specific rate. But the, the general idea is really to, to offer that as a, a incentive to, to keep your coins. I mean, you know, it, it benefits everyone. Um, sorry, there's <laughs> it's a random pop of my screen. And so, yeah, that's that's the other thing that we're working on. Um, that obviously takes a lot longer. Um, and we're cautious about this. Now, we were going to launch it before the XT listing. But in the some of the development testing that was done, the... We weren't there, though. There was still some some minor things that we need to work on, and there were still some things in general that really weren't perfect. And so it was delayed beyond the XT listing. Um, and even now, given now, I don't want to name, I guess, what you call competitors, but there was another coin that did a staking or holding program that, as far as I understand, there was a way to circumnavigate that whole hold program that they had. Their staking Heard program. Something about what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And so we want to make damn sure that's not possible. Yeah. Uh, that that it's um, it goes off without a hitch. And so it's it's one of those things that it's going to be out soon, but there's no specific date. It's one of those it'll be ready when we're comfortable and sure that it's going to be done properly. Uh, I'm looking at the website here. Um, let me share the screen real quick so that you can see what I'm Real quick question, Marcus. What, how many people, uh, what's the size of HDD's team, I guess, core, you know, people that are the higher ups? How many people are actually involved in HDD? Um, we have <clears throat> around 20 people in total on the team. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. And so that's, we have a, a few developers. Um, and then we have, a few people on the marketing team that I work with. And then we have some other people who are on like the testing team. Um, okay. And then some people who are developing mm -hmm. the other side things that we're working on for HDD coin that aren't part of the roadmap that are going to be out soon. Um, okay. Like the, the uh, Explorer and stuff like that. Okay. And so it's about 20 people in total. A lot of us wear uh, many hats. Sure. Um, but I would say, yeah, around 20. Okay. Um, where it's a, it's, a, it's a larger team than some of the other Chia Forks. But I think that collectively, we, it's a very strong group of people with a very dynamic and wide range of skills, you know? I know it was uh, much larger than that before they did their little uh, clean out not too long ago. Who was sorry? <laughs> I said they. It was probably a lot more than that before they did their little clean up not too long ago. I know Who? They, uh, HCD. They had gotten rid of some people. They, they that they were part of their team that weren't, weren't as active. Mm. Yeah, I. If I can confess something, I've actually only been part of the team for 
gosh, was it like a month, maybe a little bit more now. And so I don't actually remember there being any sort of like mass exile or anything from the team or the project. Um, but it's, it's been smooth sailing since I've joined. Um, yeah, and yeah, I, uh, I, I, I've, I've seen HGD coin and been a part of HGD <laughs> coin as a farmer for a while. And then, mm. Uh, they posted and said that they were looking for someone with a, a marketing and sales background. And I was like, you know, this is a great opportunity to join a project that I'm already uh, invested and interested in, you know? And so I've, uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know about, about anything about that, but I do know currently as it stands right now, we're about 20 people, more or less. Are um, they headquartered anywhere? Or, like, is there a central? The majority of people are in the u.s okay yeah the majority of people are in the u.s um i i would say i'm probably one of the few people outside of the u.s which makes time zones for me <laughs> difficult <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm always several hours ahead of everyone else because i'm sure. in europe but sure. uh yeah no mostly mostly it's u.s based gotcha so without uh, doxing any individual person uh, question right. here um the hold up program, the five years of this, is that, um, were the pre-farm from HDD's pre-farm is being locked up for five years or I was talking about the funds reserved for five years or is that how long, if you was decide to hodl, your tokens would be locked up for? Um, well, it, it, on the screen here. What I'm yeah, yeah, about. no, no, no. I know uh, um, the the. I suppose you could say the interest or the reward for uh, the 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 hold program or the huddle program is paid from the the pre farm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's just they're saying they're locking their funds up for five years to support the huddle program. In, in Basically, total. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I that's, mean, it's, that's good though. I mean, because a lot of people do pre farming and pay their employees with the pre-farm and they have no intention of um, rolling that back into any of the programs that, they, that become available. You know, that's just, that's just their paycheck. You know, for yeah. So, um, um, yeah. With us, there's no, um, you know, there's no incentive for us to, to really destroy our own project by, dumping the pre-farm or anything like that it's all used wisely and it's carefully thought out and and all that whatever were to happen with it for instance so all right well um is what do you think of the future of the space here like uh where do, where do you see everybody seems to be finding their niche at some point along the way where, where do you see hcd um kind of coming together and growing into fruition to where it is um, a fully functioning blockchain with uh, support from mainstream because it, it you know if you don't have any real support from uh, businesses you know you got mm -hmm. day traders and you know they can take the price pretty fast but if you you've got you know corporations that are invested in your company they don't just pull their money out they, they leave it in there at least an investment for the future so uh where, where do you see hdd in the uh, future where do you see the future of the space um well in, in this is i guess my personal opinion but i think in general the Technology behind Chia and Forks is very, very interesting. And it's barely even scratched the surface of what's possible and what it can do. Um, HDD coins specifically, while right now, I guess the future, in an ideal world, the future would be that we have done everything we've said and more for HDD coin. And we have left the sphere of being called a Chia fork and we're, we're firmly in altcoin territory. Because mm. while, and, I, and I've said this, I, I suppose, at least in a couple of interviews before, that the Chia code 
is great to build off of. And we intend on building the HDD coin to become its own, you know, altcoin, have its, have an altcoin status to kind of leave the, the sphere of just being a, a Chia fork and move into the sphere of being an altcoin. And that's really the ultimate goal. And so what the future might bring, honestly, in an ideal world, we, we would meet and exceed everything that's on the roadmap, do it quicker and, you know, do it better really than anyone else. That's the goal. And I think we can. Um, and I've actually completely blanked on what your original question was, but I, <laughs> did I answer it? I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure if your, if your original question was, where do you think the future of HDD coin is? Or if I've missed, missed yes, that, uh, that, that is my question. And I think you answered it. I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> with, with any coin that can walk out of the shadows of the, uh, you know, of the roadmap that they were following, um, you know, I, I think that's tremendous, uh, success. In my opinion. Hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, I, the if you look back at Bitcoin and then you had like Litecoin and Doge and every other coin, you know, as well. I like to think that HD coin will HD coin will get to that kind of status of like maybe being the Litecoin to Bitcoin type of thing or something along those lines. I think, or even exceeding that potentially. I mean, I I I think that there's a lot to a lot to be created in this this space you know there's still a lot to do really uh especially with blockchain technology in general it's still such early technology in yeah. my opinion in terms of what it's capable of um the other day i actually saw that there's now ways uh there's a, like a online smart contracts for doing shipping like import and export for uh it's going to go over most people's head i think but like being able to do like bills of lading and stuff which are when you're shipping something in seaports and stuff you have to have those documents yeah. that some companies now are <clears throat> doing that through kind of a blockchain and there's just all these awesome use cases that are coming out with it and i think hd coin will find its own its own footing sooner or later where we're we're delivering on everything we've said we will and more. I mean, the sky is the limit, not just for HDD coin, but for the whole technology, you know? Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I just, I, it, it, there's, a, there's a huge potential, I suppose. So uh, is there anything else that you want to say about uh, HDD coin that we haven't, discussed yet anything that we kind of left out um not off the top of my head no i don't i, I can't really think um, it's, it's a anything. hard question to ask after talking yeah, 45 minutes, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah um i suppose actually instead of asking a question i just like to thank you two oh. and the wider hcd community actually everyone who's been involved in the project whether it's even just visiting the github and downloading the 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 code and compiling it and joining the joining it as a, a a fork you know to farm it or whatever and to everyone who's on the discord or everyone who's ever you know done anything with it i just wanted to thank them and thank you guys and thank everyone who's just given uh an opportunity for hd coin to kind of grow i mean we're we're either just about there or sure soon to pass i can't i don't can't get to my computer just my other computer that has my plotting on it or my farming on it but we're soon to 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 get over two exabytes we're soon to kind of climb over the two exabyte uh net space and that's a crazy amount of space yeah you know and so yeah she, really she is at uh 33 so i mean that's, yeah yeah i mean that's, almost that's a hit, lot almost hit. yeah hmm. uh yeah and so really at the core of it, all I want to do is thank you and thank everyone for their involvement in one way, shape, or form. I thank you guys for giving me a platform to be able to have a 
a conversation about it. And just everyone who's listening and watching this, and if you've made it this far into listening to me ramble, thank you for that as well. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't have any any anything else I can uh, think of off the top of my head in terms of HTD coins specifically that I'd like to mention, other than we have a lot going on and hopefully the store will be out soon. And uh, beyond that, the, whole, the, the HODL, HODL program will be out soon as well, hopefully. And we intend on bringing value to HGD coin in one right. way, shape, or form. And with um, that, we will go ahead and uh, bring this podcast to a close. And if you have not yet, um, go out and, and look on XD.com and, and pick you up some HDD coin and uh, help support this uh, very newly developing project it is a project not just a pump and dump and not absolutely not a shit coin so this is uh one of the solutions that we are promoting on our program here yeah. thank you for that yeah. <laughs> i'm glad yeah. i'm glad we're not shit coin status <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I don't believe so i mean i've gotten to know some of the guys in the, in the uh development team and stuff and uh and it's a really good project and 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 i really 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 hope uh the best for them and you know as much as we can do this, uh, let's promote the hell out of them, man. I mean, I, I think they're doing a great job over there, and uh, I'm very excited for what they're doing. So, I would say, yeah, even though we are not financial advisors, and uh, we always recommend you do your own research, we definitely endorse HED coin. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, wow. I appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. That's and really with a... that, um, as always, everybody, stay, stay shitty. shitty. <laughs> Hang around. Shipcoin Solutions is intended for entertainment and educational purposes only. We are not financial advisors and are not registered to provide financial advice. Our opinions and the opinions of the guests of our show are strictly our own. The cryptocurrencies discussed on the show and various forms of social media are not the solicitation to purchase or sell any security in any form. If you decide to buy or sell any of the cryptocurrencies or securities discussed on the show, Shitcoin Solutions is not responsible for any gains nor losses that result from the opinions of the host or guest. The best way to learn about any of the vast amounts of cryptocurrencies available is to do your own research.